Oh, it's falling. Oh god, it's really low. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I didn't know that. Whoa. You don't have all your hair? This is spooky. I <gasps> spooky. I lost about, I got the picture before we got in here. Two kids right Crap. you see a green light. That green light highlights here on Luke's original crawl space. Some crawl spaces lead to other crawl spaces and some lead to dead ends. Like the one coming up where you guys left. <laughs> Imagine crawling. Francis. I'll tell you guys more about him as we end. Francis. Oh, that's beautiful name for beautiful. So just get a tiny bit lower up here, so I do ask guys to lower your head just a little bit more. God. And we are going through Lover's Lane. Lover's Lane is the narrowest spot of the cave. When I tell you guys this part is pretty tight, it is. Lover's Lane gets snake, you can eat all the lemon or the wall. Dude, this is so low. It felt Feel free to push off if you guys really have to. Just try not to push off too hard to push your neighbor to the other side. <laughs> Lennon, Boston. What? Hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> you guys can push off back there. Oh, oh yeah. You push up? Push up. Oh. We're supposed to help, right? No, that's fine. <laughs> I can get it. <laughs> Anybody get decapitated yet? Maybe. Yeah. My head's already in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so right about now you guys are going to be able to start lifting up your head just a little bit. Oh, now good. that we enter Whoa. this opening right here, you guys can't extend fully as we're entering our largest room in this entire cave. Alright, so as I said, this is our largest room in oh this my. entire cave. It measures about 110 feet long and 45 feet tall. This is the only mud rock wall in this entire cave. Other walls will be down in a roof material like this. This right here is called Balloon of Limestone, and it is located all over the cave. You guys can touch it if you want to. It is made from compressed sea creatures, so if you guys really want to touch that, you basically touch a really dead fish. Yes! yes. I love dead fish. Finally. Maybe you like it, tastes like seafood. This is such a dog. Oh, I touched it. Oh god. Gosh. No. Alligator on duty? Yeah. <laughs> Norwegian cave came and they grow to be about 14 feet long. They are genetically modified to withstand these conditions. No, we do not keep the fish in here because there wouldn't be really a place for that. What if the duck was in here? There is a um, dam all the way at the top of the front of the cave that would end up flushing them out, killing them, or injuring them. Ooh. But you guys ready to see one of our largest formations in this entire cave? It's called Flowstone Wall. Flowstone Wall gets named because there's a light all the way at the top, or not a light, a crack all the way at the top that has three minerals. The white is calcite, the black is magnesium, and the brown is iron oxide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you guys do not like my driving at any point, you guys can't put yourself in here as exit. <laughs> right there? Oh, yeah. Swim back. But if you're really sick, there are some panda yeah. bars all over the cave. You can say hi to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's up? Or wobble to one side or we got in the stupid water. Yeah, free tour. Yeah, free tour. By the way, you're probably sick of seeing green lights by now, but this is the last one I'm going to show you. This opening in the ceiling is a sinkhole, but since we are going to be looking from the bottom up, we call it a chimney. This is our ventilation system. Oh, ventilation system. Water like to kind of add snakes like to drop from them. Ooh, that feels weird. Oh, oh, that's mine. Ah. You like that that's a snake hole size. She has a snake hole size. No. But to your guys left, you will see our spook cave wishing well. Our light above it just decided to get it off. Our spook, every donation is going to cancer in Iowa, so just can't send me side and can't be courageous. I don't know why somebody would throw dollars in there. It's literally <laughs> a bathtub in there. So red. Basically, this is all man made, but water isn't natural. We put it in here at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year and take it out at the end of the year. But I have to explain a lot more about that um, back there. But there was one accident that happened in this cave many years ago. We went with the name Old Joe Smiley. Old Joe Smiley was our electrician. He would come in every day at 9 and leave at 10, but one day he did not return. His friends and family came in here to look for him, only to find his boat capsized at the beginning of the cave. They looked a little bit further to find some spooky scratch marks. Some scary <laughs> handprints. Some more spooky oh. scratch marks. Until. <laughs> Joe. Rip old Joe. That was great. <laughs> Best one of the day. <laughs> but anyway, we are below one of our largest lifelines. You can actually tell it a cave by a lifeline. Give me a team. Lifeline. <laughs> this cave is about 750,000 years old, making it one of the baby caves of the U.S. Most caves are millions of billions of years old.
years old, but since this one is half man-made and half natural, it is not. The first 120 feet that we did past the really low part and all that mud rock part was all dug up by John Deere Tactor, giving us a hint to what those doors above that room was used for. He's pointing. All right. People in the back, you guys can push off right there if you guys really need to. Well, you know. All right, so these right here are some of our larger formations. These are called stalactites. Stalactites are located all over the cave. As you guys can tell, we have some right above us. Coming up to these, we have past thousands of them. Stalactites are living, but they're not alive. They do not have a heartbeat, blood, anything like that. You can tell that they're living by the glossy appearance of the water drip from the ends. Basically, where you see all those water drops coming from. <laughs> so, the reason why I tell you guys not to touch these is to actually kill them off. The dirt and the oil through your fingers actually prevent them from growing their minerals. As you guys can tell, there are some dried up what's around you from people touching them. But if you guys look a little bit further, you can find our hairy or hippie stalactite. Our hairy stalactite gets the name because the rumor is a one drop on your head will make you go bald in the next week because it does produce a lot more carbonic acid. So, as we go into this, I do have a couple rules. I do ask you guys to lower your head just a little bit so you guys don't clothesline by this gate right here. Please do not touch the ceiling or anything like that, as there are some uh, growth formations. And cover, do not cover your hair as we are passing our hair just a lot today. I'm kind of scared.
So basically, in a couple hundred years, this will turn out to be like one of these white, slimy, rigid looking things. But if you guys look a little bit further, you guys can find our bacon and ribbon strip formation. Who here loves bacon? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have that today. Oh. Alright. So our bacon strip formation gets the same. You can put light behind it. Kind of looks like bacon. Do not recommend eating for us or people who look like that. <laughs> And to your answer, I don't think it gets boring. It just like gets tiring to say the same thing, the five minute tour over and over again. That's true. Especially when I have a busy day and I have um, five tours back to back. I kind of like mumble my words a little bit. Yeah. But I actually like meeting new people and uh, getting into the cave where it's kind of cooler than outside. And it's works. Yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Yep, basically we do drain the whole entire cave, but only geologists and spook cave staff get to go all the way back there and walk the whole thing. Um, I'm not sure if I can like talk to my boss and ask if we can do walking tours. That'd actually be pretty cool in the winter time. Cold. Where is it? I actually go there. You give me my. Is it the way back? Yep. Where's the video? <laughs> I bet you guys thought I was a lot younger than I seem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think I'm like freshman maybe. Like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm just short. <laughs> nope. Hey, I have a short one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. I can short family, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. But I'm pretty sure there's a ooh, maybe. Oh dang. I think there was a frog over there the other day. Oh. Just I'm scared. Does it end? Huh? Does it end like at the way back? Or yeah, does? it doesn't wrap around or anything like that. So basically, we're coming back up to our spook cave wishing well. If you guys want to make donations, we do cake, expensive shoes, car keys, credit cards, stuff like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so we are coming up to the falls. So right there's a cephalopod. A cephalopod is part of the squid nocturnus family. Cephalopod means body and head conjoining. It's great oh, transportation, taking it above the water, and spending it very, very fast. So basically, for the people who touch that, you guys touch a 750,000 year old squid. I've never washed my skin. I love when it's not a busy day because then, like, the water's so clear from the boats not tossing up all the dirt and stuff. <laughs> so everybody just looks it out. It'd actually be pretty cool if we had, like, koi fish or I don't know, something in here. That would be cool. So cool. <laughs> but I feel like they'd be pretty, like, Dead? miserable in this type of environment. <laughs> That was a All right, so maybe you guys were wondering what those doors right above us are for. Those doors up there were actually used to lure in a John Deere tractor and a small wheelbarrow to get all of that mud rock out. The mud rock used to be on the bed of those wires up there with the extra nine inches of water right on top of that. They were also used to cause a with people that are way too scared to come into the cave. So basically they would look up there and watch this part of the tour on repeat. But 1957, Gerald Milky did close off all oh those doors because the heat from the sun was killing off all the slides around us. But coming up right here is lucky that we'll see a red light. That red light is shining on one of the strongest rocks in this entire cave. Some people like to think that rock up there is holding up all spook caves. If you want to test that out, please don't do it on my tour. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going back through the narrowest, lowest part of the cave. So I do ask you guys to watch your surroundings one more time. Just duck down a little bit lower. And remember that we are going through Lumber's Lane right now. So if you guys do have to push off, please do. I don't want you guys to hit your shoulders, heads, anything like that. But try not to push off too hard. It's so quiet. <laughs> oh yeah. I have to concentrate through this one so I don't ram anybody into the wall. <laughs> you have to do one hand, it sucks. People in the back of my head up fishtailing a little bit. You guys want to push off back low. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. It's Sam. Oh god. Alright guys, I think we made it. We did it? Oh yeah. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it still Friday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so much money. So we got to go ahead and write you guys. We'll see our guard lizard Francis. He does scare away all the alligator snakes, stuff like that. So the reason why- They shake their tail. What the- Whoa. They're so fluffy. Stop making that noise. Oh, yeah, that one just friggin' what are you doing? <laughs>